am here to warn the people that this is an act of fear. It's a psychological battle that is happening in America right now. And people must heed to the warning that only Jesus Christ saves. There is no other name given among men by which we must be saved. You do not know when your life will be over. That's why I come here today to speak to the people and tell them to turn to Jesus Christ. God is greater than the virus. Forget the virus. Focus on you and your relationship with the Creator. Only Jesus Christ saves. No vaccine is going to save you. No medication is going to save you. No life insurance is going to save you. It doesn't matter how many times you wash your hands. It doesn't matter how many times you wear a face mask. It don't matter at all to Satan. He will still attack you. That's your enemy, the devil. The Bible says, for so once it's appointed to man to die, which means that each and every one of you here today are going to die. God wants you to be more focused on your spiritual your spiritual relationship with him because the enemy is here to cause fear and distraction to you so that you don't never ever know who God is and what type of love he has for you. He loves you. God loves you. He cares about you. He knew you since the day you was born. And God is calling you to him today. God has not given us a spirit of fear. He is a control. And those who want peace and love and joy in their life, turn to God. He is the way, Jesus Christ said to them. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can get to the Father. No man can get to God but only through Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 2, verse 30. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his lions, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ. That is, his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, wherefore we are all witnesses. Oh, that didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Do me a favor, just kill the mic for a second while I talk to you. Yeah. Sir. Come on, come on over here. What do you got going on? Well, um... What, what made you come to Berkeley Heights? Well... Uh, I came to Berkeley Heights to warn the people I'm a watchman appointed by God to come out here and warn the people of judgment that's coming. Okay. You think this coronavirus is something. Ain't nothing compared to what's coming our way. So I'm calling people to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. This is one of my flyers right here. Don't worry. The coronavirus ain't on that piece of paper, man. One of one of one hand sanitizer. What's that, sir? I got hand sanitizer. You no, want no, to that's okay. Right. Listen, uh, you, you know, I understand what you're saying. Uh-huh. Okay, I know you're filming me. I'm filming you. Okay. Uh, this isn't the time for this. Oh. Okay. Uh, people are okay. very, you know, they're, tr they're worried about getting food for them. Yeah, things. yeah, and that stuff is going to kill them. I understand. Okay, that stuff is that's not going to lead them to salvation. Okay. But this is the truth. It's not just my opinion. It's the truth. It's your opinion. Okay, I'm not about to get into a debate. Oh, I don't debate. I'm a watchman. I'm not even qualified for debate. I understand that. Okay, what's on your chest? Oh, it's a bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. I have a vest on. Oh, this this is my radio. Where I have a vest from? on because a lot of people have made attacks against my life and everything. So Where are you from? I have to be protected. Oh, I'm coming out of Hudson County. Hudson. How'd you find Berkeley Heights? Well, the Lord said, go on to all the nations and preach the gospel with every tribe, tongue, and creature. So I have to go across the whole state to every town, every county, and preach the gospel to everyone. Okay. Because God wishes that all, He desires that all come to repentance. Well, I'm going to ask you if you would leave. Oh, I can't leave, sir. Bro. I'm sorry, you don't, you, first of all, 
you can't do that. I have First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of expression. So those three right there do not give you authority to tell me that I have to leave. Now, I respect your authority because you are a police officer. I don't know you, so I have to respect you. As the Bible says, to give respect to the authorities of the land. But once the authorities of the land go over God's commandments, I don't obey you no more. So, it's your belief. Okay, it's not just belief, sir. It's the truth. It's absolute truth. You have a creator. If it wasn't for listen, if it wasn't listen. for him, you wouldn't have the badge okay. that you got. Listen. Okay. This is I understand this is a very delicate situation. Uh -huh. It is. Okay. Have you had any problems before in any other towns? No, uh, yeah, but you know, it was it was the outcome. It was the fact that a lot of people called and I had to leave. And okay. that's where we're at. Now. Okay, how listen many people called? What's your name? Yokis, you can call me Yokis. How many people call? Uh, I'm not aware, okay. but from what I'm told, there's been several. Several? Several. 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 Okay. okay. All right. I understand. Listen, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh huh. How you're you're you're, you're speaking your your mind, you're reading the, the Lord's book. Yeah, the Lord's all, book, all the creator of the heavens and earth. I understand that, but you gotta understand kind of like where we're coming from. Okay. All right. uh -huh. People are people are driving home from work. Uh -huh. Parents are home with their kids. Okay. Okay. Like I said, we're having an issue with our supermarkets here in town. <laughs> trying to. Today, nothing. Sir. <laughs> uh, I understand. I'm, I'm I'm asking you to do me a favor, and if you could just go somewhere else. Or, I can't go somewhere else. Why can't you go somewhere? Else? Because I have a command given by me from from uh, well, given about, to me about, by God. How about with the to fact that here. we're in a state of an emergency? And yeah. The township and 8 p.m. hasn't come yet. I have until 8 p.m. I know the curfew. Okay. See, God didn't raise up his children to be ignorant and be, you know, giving them to wolves to be devoured. He said, be wise as the serpent, soft as a dove. Now, I'm giving you respect, you know what I'm saying? God bless you, you know, I'm happy to, to meet you. I'm just asking you to help me out here. Okay? How am I helping you out by leaving and these people are not born? Trust me, the communications that are going on in this township uh -huh. and within this county, okay, or second to none. You can't click on a social media site, a website, a newspaper, anything within this township about not knowing what's going on. Oh uh, yeah. So I gotta warn so people you being about here Jesus. Right now is causing a little bit more of an upset. Well, that's good. That's good because it means that people are being convicted of sin. No, we're getting it as a noise. Complaint. Noise. Complaint. Wow. Yeah. That's just that's sad. Okay. That the only Savior in the world, which is Jesus Christ, came and died in the cross for people to have eternal life, and they're complaining about knowing. Now, if I was here, if I was Jay-Z or Beyonce, you would have never got that call. Probably. People call up for things in this town that you, I could write a book on what they call for. I'm pretty sure, man. Believe me, we could attest to it. Okay? I'm just, I'm asking for a favor. Okay? Uh -huh. Kind of, you're blocking the sidewalk. This is a major intersection in town. I don't hey, want God somebody bless you, sir. Come, you come around the yeah, corner. Yeah, I'm here doing my job. I, I understand, but maybe we'll just put that on, on, you know, put that aside for the time being. All right. How'd you get here? Uh, I got here like everybody else gets around by car. Where, where's your car? My wife. Uh, is that your children? Yeah, my children in the car with my wife. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm asking you guys. I'm not looking to make this any kids are asleep. Oh, you try to use the kids? I had an officer do that before. It didn't work out. We, we all communicate. Okay? I'm asking you to do me a favor. Okay, like I said, I know the camera's rolling, my camera's rolling. I've treated you with respect. Yeah, you've treated the thing me is, with is that your authority is going over God's commandment. I can't obey it. But we also have to maintain the peace. Maintain the peace. What peace? Where the peace at? Where's the peace? Where's the peace? Where's the peace? We're trying to maintain it. We're trying to keep everything in How are you maintaining peace by keeping people? You're having them inside your house. There's no only peace in there. I'm here to tell these people about that. That's on them. They can go that way, they can go that way, that way, that way. They don't got to stay here. Where's the house? Now who's here? People are here. That's good. I want them to hear. I'm asking. I can't leave. What law is telling me I gotta leave? Isn't this public sidewalk? Man, I, I've been down there. I'm a short thing you have. Someone can walk right on by. Somebody gotta. If somebody comes up to me and tells me I gotta move on over, I move over. But if I don't move over, then I'm a, I'm impeding traffic. I'm, I'm not out in the, the roadways or anything like that. So. You're making this. No, you're telling me to, to 
to, to disobey God, ignore God, and, and do what you want me to do because people want peace. They ain't got no peace right now. But I'm giving them the word of God, which has peace. Sir, I'm not looking to make this issue. I'm asking you to write down. Please remove your items from the sidewalk in the grass. What law? And go on your Can you give me a law? A statue? Something? You're disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace? How? I'm not. I'm disorderly? Yes. You're not obeying. Sir, I got a lawyer. Lawful law. I have a lawyer that so fights for my rights. I'm sure you do. You don't want to bring a lawsuit to this town. Let me do my job as you do your job. We're going about our business. I mean, I'm trying to work. Work with me by telling me to turn down the speaker a little bit. Maybe that would be working with you. You want me to leave? I'm asking you nicely. Yeah. I can't not, leave. Why can't you leave? Because I have a job to do just like you have your job, man. Yeah. Okay. You married? Yeah. I'm married too. Look, I know your you wife are. is you told not, me you are. Yeah, your your wife is not keeping you home from doing your job. No, I'm actually ordered in by the state of New Jersey. Yeah. But she can say, babe, don't go to work. No, she can't. Yes, she can. No, she can't. Come on now. Not when there's a declaration whatever, by man. the governor. Listen, I hey, have now you just want me to leave. How's that working with you? I'm, I'm, I've given you. You at least told me shut the speaker off and just pass out flyers. I would have done that, but people, why you didn't say that? People, are, with everything that's going on, okay, schools being closed, people not working, businesses are going to take a financial impact. On this. this is really the last. This thing. is only the beginning. It's going to get much worse than this. I know so. it is. What's your What's your first name? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay. I'm All right, officer. I'll just I'll just I'll, 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 All right, okay. officer. Okay. Listen, I'm just looking. At this. So you're just trying to find anything. Look, this is gonna be blood on your hands, man. Because these people need to hear the, these people need to hear the gospel. They need to hear that Jesus That's Christ your opinion. is in control. Nah, it's not my opinion. My opinion backed up by a couple billion people? I don't think so. Okay. Well, those that believe have that right and that choice. All right, but that's uh, not. Doesn't mean but there, there is plenty of Christians around here that want to hear the word too. But there's also everybody that goes back and forth that may not believe in that belief. Okay, so that's them. I have every right to stand here and speak the word of God. You know, and to do so, I'm not being disorderly. You're telling well, I, you're, you're, you're going to say that I'm disobeying a lawful order. You're a little loud with the speaker. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm trying to work with you here. I'm trying to talk to you here. You're not really helping me out too much. I'm looking for some help. It's a two-way You want help? Repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's your help. Believe me. I understand your beliefs. You know, and like I said too, everything that's going on, you know, the Catholic Church and every other organization involved with it is also taking some Catholic time. Church is going to hell. It's taking Buddha time. is going to hell. Muslim going to hell. Because they all deny Christ. Okay. They're all going yeah. to hell. Nice. Unless they repent, unless these people come out this religious system and repent, they're all gonna go go to hell. Uh, but I'm I, trying to tell them how to avoid that hell. I understand what you're saying. God bless you, sir. And all we're right. just we're just trying to keep everything in order. Uh -huh. We're not looking to cause any problems. And you know, I, I, I don't want to cause any problems. So what's the deal? You, you, you just you can't be here blowing the speaker. That's all. It's a violation of municipal ordinance. Yeah. So we got to tell you to stop. What's the ordinance? There's an ordinance in place. Okay, can you read it to me? You don't trust me? It's not that I don't trust you. So the downside you. is if you don't... It's just, when I go to court, it's like, it's not what I can tell the, the judge that they don't believe me, but it's what I can prove. Listen. It's not what I know. Listen, if he charged you with it, brought you in and processed you, it would be listed on the complaint. And there'd be a lawsuit given That's against fine. this town. No, it's not fine. I listen not to you fine. talk to I don't want to you to me. bring problems to this listen, township. Listen, I'm not going to bring problems to the township. Okay. I'm just telling you there's an ordinance against using speakers in public. Okay. All right. What is that ordinance? I don't have to tell you the number. Uh, I don't have to show it to you. So you're trying to tell me to obey a, a I'm just saying law. right now. If you stop doing it, we're all good. Okay. You can't right. blow a speaker in public all right. in township. How many calls township? did you get about me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, listen to me. How many calls did you get about me? Do you understand?
understand what I'm saying? Yes. So all we're asking is you stop running the speaker. You can sit here all day if you want. You're in public. All right. You understand what I'm saying? So we don't have to go through this nonsense of an arrest and charges. That's all right. It. Do you know Matthew chapter 10 verse 14? Do you understand or not? Yes, I understand. Okay, so we're clear. Are you, are you recording it? I'm trying so to notify. So us. don't run it anymore. No How speaker. many calls we're good. did you get? Thank you. Like I told right. you, it's done. It's on. It's Danny, going to determine to if I come and go. If you, you understand what we said to you? So you said I got several, right? Several. Sir. That's like seven, right? You understand, right? Yes, I understand. So go sit over there, watch. If you're compliant, we're all good. If you run the speaker again, you're going to headquarters to be processed. We'll serve you with the ordinance violation. All right? We'll give you a court date. If that's the way you want to go with it. People have died. When they just you really think I'm scared to go to a, 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 a police station and whatnot? Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Just do me I'm one favor. Just tell. please stop running. Just do me one favor. One favor. Because of the, the amount of traffic in this intersection, just take a step back so you're not blocking you know, your, equipment, your equipment here. Uh -huh. And just when you see people walking by, so I'm gonna close okay. the and eight o'clock. Listen, eight o'clock. All you have to do is tell me the number. Eight o'clock. Curfew. How many calls That's you it. got? Have a good day, sir. How many calls? You can't even tell me how many calls you got. I don't have the numbers in front of me. And you have the numbers in the call, sir. It's too simple. You understand it? Just tell me the number. We're good. Just tell me the number. You can't even tell me the number. Hey, how many calls? How many calls? Uh-huh. So it's three? Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Brother William. Uh-uh. Brother Steven. Is this Matthew 10, 14? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to ask them. They don't want, they don't want to give me the number of calls. We're okay, right? Have a good day. Just tell, all you have to do is tell me how many calls you've gotten up. Can you get that information real quick? Because this is going to tell me if I need to leave or not. Okay. All right. All right. So it's Matthew 10, 14 then. Okay, so the area is not receiving me. Okay. All right, guys, you heard it. So we're just going to assume that it's Matthew 10, 14, and that the area is not receiving the gospel, and they're threatening to arrest me. Hey, uh, Brother Steven. Yeah. Uh-huh. Brother Steve, Brother Steven, come here real quick. They said, what happened? They're your bike ticket, they're going to give you a ticket? Uh-huh, and they're going to lock me up. For what? <laughs> That's Are what I'm saying. Serious? They can't do that. That is illegal. That is illegal. You're not going to be wrong. Exactly. It It'll be another break. lawsuit. It's public sidewalk where you are. No. Uh-huh. Brother Steven, come here So this man can take your chest, guys. Since I can hear you, don't receive it. He said they got several. Yeah, which means that. So he's threatening, he's threatening to arrest if I get on the speaker. Verse 39, and I'm down here to verse 31. <laughs> Is this beats beats blue flip? This beats blue Sort of the same. Uh, 
look, coming back again. And the police coming back again. Yeah. Yeah. My hands are a little numb. <laughs>